Queensland scientists have developed an Australian first device that can be dropped out of helicopters to monitor the speed and height of surging floodwaters. Field trials show it can act as an early warning system for towns under threat of flooding. Don't mistake these for floating bits of rubbish. The PVC pipes are housing equipment that could save lives during a flood. In floods, the, the situation is very unpredictable and we need to get data quickly and um, it's very hard to get that data quickly. Called drifters, they've been designed by QUT mechanical engineers to track flooded waterways, their heights and peaks in real time using GPS or Bluetooth technology. So these would provide a way where emergency response people could deploy them on the spot. They're basically floating mini laptops with sensors hidden inside and because of their portability can be dropped out of choppers across a flood zone. This will enable us to measure the height of the flood and the flow in many locations at once. And it's safer. Because basically oh, the human risk of having to go out to take a measurement in flood situation could be eliminated. Another vital tool in managing flood disasters. Definitely, definitely to have that real time data that can feed into our modelling can only better make that modelling even better. Sunshine Coast Council has joined QUT in a field trial at Lake Karamundi. We can predict those flood impacts and being able to mitigate those. The project has been seven years in the making. The catalyst was the 2011 floods when scientists here needed to measure how dangerous those surging flood waters were. They tied temporary monitoring devices with rope and started collecting data. From that the drifters were born. So how does this compare to the accuracy of the GPS in our car, for example? Well, look, a car is about five to ten metres, whereas this is one to two centimetres. The portable drifters can also pinpoint pollution runoffs, water quality and predict where algal blooms will form. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.